believe me, I love great music and great performers. And I've seen some actually recently in other venues. But in this um, event, I just found myself getting into that negative critical headspace and, you know, realizing it's like, that's not why I came here. That's not what this was event's supposed to be about. So my first response is that I want to get up and bolt. Like at the first end of the first song or whatever, it's like, I want to discreetly grab my coat and leave. But what I'm trying to practice in life now is instead of doing that in those moments, of which we're allowed to do that, you know, as long as we're not being rude or inconsiderate, like in between songs and or intermissions and stuff, you always see people. Actually, I did see some people get up and leave after the first number, but I said, no, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to just relax the chest, relax the neck, breathe, meditate, and just wait for something good to happen. But I was very in tune with that aspect of just being really critical and wondering why I wasn't finding my own center, my own sense of inner peace. Has that happened to you where you're really looking forward to something? It, it, it just seems like it's gonna be the perfect event, the perfect occasion. And then once you're in it, you, it's like immediately you just want to get out of Dodge because you can tell right away that the energy is not going the way you've envisioned it should go. There's that should word that when we're having that expectation and anticipation for something positive to come our way and then it doesn't and then we get let down and have a, and have a hard time, you know, connecting to center and balance, it can be off-putting. But then again, you know, knowing what makes us happy and comfortable as far as environment goes also lends to our sense of goals and how we wish to live our lives, where we want to live, what city or town we want to live in. Maybe you don't even want to live in a city or town. And it is a good exercise when things are not going exactly how we planned in that um, anticipatory expectation to just try to stay seated and just breathe and relax and go inward as good as possible, um, even despite the situation or the circumstances, which may not be ideal, because I think maybe it gives good practice for going into those meditative states when we are in an environment that's more conducive of really coming into that full relaxation because my critical mind was at work and my critical and negative uh, mind of let down expectations was kicking in. And that is something that I'm working on if you guys can lend to the discussion in this regard, I would greatly appreciate it in the comment section.